So bear with me, cause my tripod just broke. Welcome back to my series on how to eat out and lose weight. The purpose of this series is to teach my customers that they can go out and still eat normal food without jeopardizing the ability to reach their weight loss or fitness goal. We are on episode four of the fast food section of the series and today I am at taco time. The reason that I am doing real food is because people will not generally succeed on things like chicken and kale. It gets too restrictive and nobody wants to live off of bland food that they don't really enjoy. This week I am going to have beef nachos. Um, which comes with a side of guacamole and sour cream and um, they do actually have a small soda uh, which I'm still only going to drink half of um, to uh, cut down on the sugar content that I am consuming. So according to their website it says it's handcrafted tortilla chips, seasoned beef, aged cheddar, low-fat white cheese, black beans, pico de gallo, uh, guacamole, and sour cream. Um, those are probably about two to three ounces. I'm gonna say they're two ounces without actually measuring them because neither one goes to the top of the cup. It also says that this is gluten-free. However, the kitchen itself is not gluten-free and it does contain soy and dairy if you have any allergies. For the most part though, this is a fairly healthy choice even though it's something that people would consider junk food. The junk food part is just the portion size, so we're gonna get to that in just a second. This is about 1,395 calories. That does not include the half a soda. That's uh, probably another 150 to 200 calories. It's 81 carbs, uh, 88 carbs, 91 grams of fat and 57 grams of protein. The bonus of this though, because of the black beans and the tortilla chips, it's got 22 grams of fiber. You only need about 25 to 30 grams of fiber a day. So if you did eat this whole plate of nachos, you would be getting all of your fiber for the day. The sugar content is only about six grams, so it is diabetic friendly but it's got over 2,000 milligrams of sodium, so it's not really good for those struggling with high blood pressure. If I take out the sour cream and the guacamole, I drop the calories down to 1,100, and I drop the fat grams down to 71 versus the 91 original. So, that being said, I am actually going to cut this down to only eating about a third of it to fit within my 500 calorie range. It'll be a little bit over, um, but not by much. Actually, I guess it really won't be over if I'm at 1100 without eating the sour cream and the guacamole. then I guess that would actually be about 450. So I still fit within my 500 calories if I only eat a third of this. You see that I still have my guacamole and my sour cream left. I only ate about a third of the nachos and I only drank half of a drink, half of a Coke. Because like I said before, it had 22 grams of fiber in it, I do not feel hungry. I've eaten my third, 
I feel very satisfied. I got something that wasn't chicken and kale. Um, with the pico de gallo being as fresh as it is, it's got cilantro, onion, tomato, so there's some vegetable right there. The low fat cheese, like I said, definitely the black beans, definitely, 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 those are a true bonus. But yeah, I feel great. I don't feel stuffed, I don't feel bloated, I don't feel like I want to take a nap. So like I said earlier, uh, next week I am going to jump over to Friday Night Bar Food. And that will be going on for four weeks. This was our last week of fast food, but if you have any suggestions on places that you'd like me to try, put those in the comment box below and I will um, give those a shot. If you struggle with your food numbers and trying to figure out how to balance your meals, shoot me a message, let me know, and I'll go ahead and help you out with that as best as I possibly can. All of my customers that actually eat the way that I do lose weight. They all lost weight through the holidays when they tried learning how to eat like this. Learn how to eat, learn how to cheat. That is my motto, that is how I don't drive myself crazy, eating things that most diets say you should eat. Don't diet, learn how to eat, learn how to make smarter choices and enjoy the food you love. You will still lose weight, and you'll feel great in the process and you'll continue because you won't feel like someone told you no you can't have that questions comments suggestions leave those in the box below i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you next week